The Scholarship Jacket, Part 1, by Martha Salinas. The small Texas school that I went to had a tradition carried out every year during the 8th grade graduation. A beautiful gold and green jacket, the school colors, was awarded to the class valedictorian, the student who had maintained the highest grades for eight years. The scholarship jacket had a big gold S on the left front side and your name written in gold letters on the pocket. My oldest sister, Rosie, had won the jacket a few years back, and I fully expected to also. I was 14 and in the 8th grade. I had been a straight-A student since the first grade, and this last year had looked forward very much to owning that jacket. My father was a farm laborer who couldn't earn enough money to feed eight children, so when I was six, I was given to my grandparents to raise. We couldn't participate in sports at school because there were registration fees, uniform costs, and trips out of town. So even though our family was quite agile and athletic, there would never be a school sports jacket for us. This one, the scholarship jacket, was our only chance. In May, close to graduation, spring fever had struck, as usual, with a vengeance. No one paid any attention in class. Instead, we star stared out of the windows and at each other, wanting to speed up the last few weeks of school. I despaired every time I looked in the mirror. Pencil thin, not a curve anywhere. I was called bean pole and string bean, and I knew that's what I looked like. A flat chest, no hips, and a brain. That's what I had. That really wasn't much for a 14-year-old to work with, I thought, as I absent-mindedly wandered from my history class to the gym. Another hour of sweating and basketball and displaying my toothpick legs was coming up. Then, I remember my P.E. shorts were still in a bag under my desk, where I'd forgotten them. I had to walk all the way back to get them. Coach Thompson was a real bear if someone wasn't dressed for P.E. She, ha she had said that I was going forward and even tried to talk Grandpa into letting me join the team once. Of course, Grandma said no.